Okay, now we got the ESC set up. We've got it hooked up. We've got all of our motors. We've got our motors calibrated. We've got them plugged into the corresponding channels where they're hooked up onto the ESC for your motors. One, two, three, four. So now what you want to do is you want to power on the power on the heli the heli quadcopter, um, and you want to make sure that your motors are spinning in the correct direction. So um, so basically, we go back to this page again hopefully you can see it so if you go in really uh, really close might be hard to see on here um, your number one motor your number one and number three motors your two front motors both circle in they go this way counterclockwise this one goes counterclockwise and this one goes clockwise so both motors are basically going in so in in and then your rear motors go out so number two motor it goes counterclockwise and the number four motor goes clockwise so number one in number three in number two out and number four out so basically what it is is your front two motors both go in and your rear two motors both go out so um so that's pretty simple so we will come back here and Basically, what you do, power on your power on your uh, radio. Go in here. Power on your quadcopter. You will ho you will hopefully hear those sounds because that means that number one, the ESC is calibrated. Number two, it's uh, I think the beefs are it's a lipo. And number three, that it's either a 3S or a 4S. So those are what the beeps mean. So um, we, we can get into that later. That, that, that'll that be some programming stuff that, that it has. But So for right now, um, I have my motors. Everything's turned on. We'll just arm it real quick. So basically just hold this over. Flashing red. Now they're on. So you have all four motors are turning. Go up like this. So, like I said, so now that they're on, you know, always do this, and it's just safety. Always do this without your props on. Do not put your props on. Um, you know, people put them on upside down so they can see the, the direction. Um, you know, people put their props on regular, and I've seen these things just go crazy. So, that's a fail safe if you don't uh, have your. Uh, APM has a fail safe that if you don't power up, it'll automatically it'll shut them off. So, um, so basically, what we're doing here is we're looking to get this motor supposed to turn this way, this motor supposed to turn this way, this motor supposed to turn this way, and this motor supposed to turn that way. So remember, out, out, in, in. So basically, fire it up. You know, you can just touch it. So my motor's. Are So you see they're turning all that way. So basically what happens is if say your motor is turning, this one's turning this way. You take say just these two cables, basically just take these two cables and you would just unplug, plug it in, plug it in like that, reverse them, and there you go. So now fire it up. So now this motor is turning this way instead of outwards. That's so all you gotta do for every single motor. So you just make sure that each motor is turning the way it's supposed to. Remember, in, in, out, out. So this one's turning the wrong way. So take my plugs, reverse it, reverse it, fire it up again. Motors turn that way. So that's all you do for all the motors to make sure that they're they're going the right ways. So, we're pretty much set up here. Um, I'll do another video that shows uh, how to program the ESC through the radio, getting into the, uh, you know, once now that everything's hooked up, we can uh, get into, hit into programming mode. There's two ways to do it. There's one way with a card that you can use. I have one somewhere. I'll, I'll pull that out and show it to you guys. 
um, there's also a way to do it with the radio. So um, it's in the instruction book about how to do it. So um, so that's pretty much set up. I'm going to finish cleaning these uh, wires up and everything and uh, get this thing all cleaned up and pff, I'm almost ready to fly. So uh, hopefully this was informational. Shoot me any messages uh, if you have any questions.